Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be going through Act 7.3, quest number four. All right, now, just like all of the videos in this series, I'm gonna show you the path that I took, which I consider to be the easy path. Keep in mind that the easy path is relative. It's relative to your skill, relative to your roster. Okay, now, this path that I have chosen has the um, shifting immunity, I believe. Uh, yeah, you got the uh, buffs here. Um, yeah, shifting immunity, bleed, poison, mix master, which is usually a very, very annoying uh, node. But I have Mole Man. Mole Man can shut down that evade, and it allows me to fight like normal okay i don't have to worry about it now something with mole man that i was having a problem with throughout this path and you'll see it um i was having a problem with my parries uh you notice that the evade uh failed that's what mole man can bring to this uh path all right so <clears throat> he's also good against uh uh this guy here void even though i'm running suicides because he can shrug off the debuffs from Void, all right? So he is a really, really good option for this path if you have him. If you don't have um, a Mole Man, Elsa Bloodstone is also a good option. Uh, I do use her for one fight in here. It didn't go uh, as well as I wanted, mainly because of my own uh, skill, but someone who can shut down evades uh falcon is also a good one get a locked on and you're golden uh so he's also a good option for this path um and he's also skill so really any champion that can shut down the evades that you have as skill mo man and, and falcon come to mind uh, elsa bloodstone also comes to mind uh, yeah, see, all of this, I don't know what was going on with my uh, inputs. I just was having some trouble, and it cost me, you know, a lot of health potions and stuff. Um, but Mole Man is, is a beautiful option for this path. Now, uh, I'm trying to think of some other options. Keep in mind that you have that um, shifting immunity. So that can be a pain. So you don't want somebody who completely depends on the bleed and poison. But if you have someone that does bleed or poison, you can play around the node by just waiting out the uh, immunity timer and then only attacking during the time that they're vulnerable to that. It's a little bit more annoying, but you can do it. Okay. Um, yeah, you see here. But I have a bunch of health potions, so it's not that big of a deal. But I like to save them for, uh, you know, some really, really difficult content. Not use it on this where, you know, something weird was happening. Uh, and you'll see that all throughout the path. Uh, I was just having some issues uh, with Mole Man and getting uh, the parries to stick and things like that. But anyway... Uh, that's going to do it right now for uh, the path. I'll come back uh, because I use Mole Man for all of these fights. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, but I, I will come back when I use Elsa to talk about that one. I believe it's against Tigra and it's on the... Uh, it's the last fight, I think, on this path. Um, and then we'll talk about the boss. Okay, so I'll be right back.
Okay, so we're back, and this is the only fight that I brought in Elsa. She's a rank two. She can do this fight, but I had problems fighting uh, Tigra. All right, so you can see that she put a cold snap. All right, medium, light, medium, and you see the evade fail. That's exactly why she's really good for this uh, path as well. But I was having some trouble uh, towards the end. So um, you can see here, everything is going beautiful, okay? This is how you want to fight it. Keep that cold snap up and she won't be um, able to evade. So you don't have to worry about the mix master, right? All right, there we go. We got another one up and we just have to keep baiting out her uh, specials. But sometimes she doesn't wanna fire her special off quite right. And uh, we might let the um, cold snap, you know, um, wear off on her and then she'll evade. But look at this, she's down to 23% health, okay? Cold snap is on her, everything is going well. I'm trying to bait this out. She finally throws it, but now we don't have cold snap. And I didn't see that, okay? So she evaded. All right, look at that. I'm trying to get the cold snap back on her and she's just like, bam, 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 bam. Now she's got me in a corner, all right? I fired this off to try to push her off. 12% down, but she's already hurt me really bad. Okay, there we go. I did the medium light medium, but I didn't get the cold snap. So she's still able to evade. All right. So now she's got me in the corner again and hits me. And now here's her special two. And I'm like, oh man, I got to evade it. I evaded it. Yes. And she still got me. That's the first time I actually managed to evade in the corner. Tigra's special two. And then I tried to get off out of the corner, kind of desperate because she's just gonna fire heavy as off or whatever and catch me, but I wasn't able to get her. So that was me. That was uh, my fault and I played that one badly. So I brought Mole Man back to uh, finish her off. You know, evade fail, doesn't matter. She's just gonna go down. Uh, I probably would have done just fine with Mole Man in the beginning but I wanted to give uh, Elsa, since I brought her, uh, a try, and she would have worked great. And you saw during the first part of that fight, she was working beautifully, but I just messed up. All right, so now we're gonna fight this boss. Now, this boss has a very easy counter, but I did not go in with that counter first because I wanted to play around. All right, so this first uh, fight here is me testing something out. Okay, yeah, you can't bring in a KO'd, uh, you can't swap KO'd uh, champions. So I brought in uh, Spider-Man 2099. Sorry, Big Blue. Uh, Big Blue is a friend of mine for y'all that don't know. And he tried to get Spider-Man 2099 and was not able to get him after many, many crystal openings. And I ended up getting Spider-Man 2099 four times in my openings. And I didn't want him four times, and Big Blue just wanted him once. But anyway, I brought him in. Now, he is not a good option for this. The reason he's not a good option for this is he has no way of getting rid of the armor-ups. So all the armor-ups are gonna cause him to take damage every time he hits him. All right, that special uh, chaos inversion, normally that would be very annoying for me, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, so you can just block them. So that's not really a big deal. Don't try to evade them unless you're really good at uh, evading those specials uh, inverted, okay? So look at the damage that I'm gonna start to take. Because he has the armor up, uh, later on he'll get that armor up. Okay, so. We're doing all right so far, but look at this. I block that. He has an armor up. But just look at this. Look at the damage. Look at the reverberation damage I'm taking. Just look at that. No way. Once I saw that, I was like, you know what? Fine. I, I, I kind of figured he wasn't a good option, but I wanted to test him out to see. 
Um, he's not who I brought in for this fight. Now, I was thinking of playing around with uh, someone else, you know, like um, Dr. Doom. But around this time, I was starting to get hungry. And I said, you know what? I need to just go ahead and finish this fight so I can go eat. So this is who I brought in for this. Any champion that can nullify his armor ups will work great. Okay, so she is beautiful for this. You'll see that she just rips them apart. I mean, it's very easy with her. Okay, very easy. Look at this. She's not having any difficulty whatsoever. All right. Um, <clears throat> Dr. Doom most likely would have worked as well. Keep the staggers up and uh, keep that, that armor up from uh, appearing. You can also uh, nullify it. <clears throat> Sorry, nullify it with uh, his, um, I think it's special two. We'll uh, nullify them. So he's probably a good option as well. But yeah, anyone that can nullify uh, those buffs, keep the armor ups off of uh, Doctor Strange will work. Okay, see this? I just blocked. It did do a little bit of damage, but not that much. Okay, so, and you can see here, he doesn't have the armor up, so I'm not taking all that crazy damage that you saw me taking with um, Spider-Man uh, 2099. And then I healed myself up a little bit. I got caught there because I didn't block it. And the Chaos Inversion messed me up. It was just muscle memory. And um, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna evade that last part. You know, I was just determined. So I healed up a little bit again. Okay, block that. And I'm just like, I, I'm one of those types of people that you knock me down with a particular move. Now I got to go to that same move and get what I was trying to do. So I pushed him to a special two and then here we go. Boom, got my decks at the end. That's what I was trying before and failed. So now I had to do it again and succeed. Just something about me, gotta do it. You get knocked down and you get up again. Y'all yeah, know the song. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully this helps you when you are doing your completion. Uh, take care. Um, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought about the video. Ask me questions. And you all have a blessed day.